Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. This is episode 90, and I am your host, as always, Christoph Ambrose, and it's being brought to you by Combat Flip Flops. Did you know that over on TalesOfHonorPodcast.com, I have a link to Combat Flip Flops' website where you can view all of their great items like flip flops, bracelets, and uh, war rugs and shawls and everything. All that good stuff that goes to helping support those affected by conflict. And uh, what does this really mean? It means helping Afghan women and girls get an education. It also means helping clear unexploded ordnance in Laos and supporting the members and families of the special operations community. Go on over to their website. Uh, if you need a link to go there, you can get there from TalesOfHonorPodcast.com. But it's CombatFlipFlops.com. And the reason why this is so important, because they're helping flip the view on how wars are won. Business, not bullets. And now, a tale of honor. Whedon E. Osborne was born on the 13th of November, 1892, in Chicago, Illinois. After high school, Whedon went on to and graduated from Northwestern University Dental School in 1915. Once in the Navy as a dental surgeon and with the rank of lieutenant junior grade, Whedon was assigned to be with the 6th Marine Regiment, and it was his actions in the Battle of Bellow Wood that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, for extraordinary heroism while attached to the 6th Regiment U.S. Marines in actual conflict with the enemy and under fire during the advance on Boresh, France on 6 June 1918. In the hottest of the fighting when the Marines made their famous advance on Boresh at the southern edge of Bella Wood, Lieutenant Junior Grade Osborne threw himself zealously into the work of rescuing the wounded. Extremely courageous in the performance of this perilous task, he was killed while carrying a wounded officer to a place of safety. Whedon was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor and the Distinguished Service Cross for his actions and was only one of three dental officers to receive the Medal of Honor. In 2003, the FBI had confiscated his Medal of Honor after someone in South Carolina had attempted to sell it. The medal now resides with the U.S. Navy Museum in Washington, D.C., Whedon E. Osborne is buried in the Aisne Marne American Cemetery and Memorial in Belle France, Lot A, Section 3, Grave 39. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. If you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell a friend. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.